What's going on guys? So we have the Mega Constructs Halo 2017 pictures from Toy Fair that just came out and I'm making a video on this specifically because of a few figures I'm interested in. Last year I didn't make a video just because I wasn't as interested in the sets, but this year uh, it looks pretty cool. A, a bit smaller than what you would usually expect from a Toy Fair um, reveal. Um, not sure why that is, but still nonetheless some cool figures that are coming. Uh, so right here we got an Arctic Warhog. And the last one we had, I believe, was like a Rocket Hog from 2010, so seven years ago. And this one definitely looks better with improvements and detailing-wise. So it's an upgraded version of the Warthog. And it uh, looks pretty cool. Comes with some red figures. Um, but that's the first set we have. Uh, there doesn't seem to be many sets. More, more figures here. So um, I'm sure this is more of a line just for figure collectors than actual builders. And the next one we have here is an ODST drop pod, and this one looks very different than the Metallic series. So I think what they did here, um, this is just a prototype, so I'm not exactly sure, but it, it's probably like a mix of a Metallic drop pod and the old style drop pods that we used to get, which is a cool concept. And the figure itself uh, looks very cool. It looks like Mickey to me, but I'm not sure if it's going to be named or just a standard ODST. Nonetheless, a pretty cool set. Alright, next I believe we have the Halo Hero Series 4, um, and this is based on Halo 3, which is really exciting for me since it's my favorite Halo game, and right here we have an awesome looking brute bodyguard, which is actually accurate this time, and it's nice blue color with its detailing, which looks great, so I'm really excited about this figure in particular. I also want to give a quick shout out to the guy who showed me these photos, his name is ScoutTrooper66, or on Instagram known as Agent Glacier, so I really appreciate that man. Uh, Go check him out, I'll leave his uh, information in the description. And on the right we have a Cortana 2, which is really cool. Uh, she looks pretty pretty cool from uh, a good improvement from at least Series 4 because there's articulation this time and she does come with Guilty Spark, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and then we have an awesome looking Sergeant Johnson from Halo 3 too, with a nice Spartan laser. Then we have an Arbiter, Velvet Dawn Arbiter, which looks great too. Um, and some must buy for me. And a Master Chief from Halo 3 too. So, um, and then we have the Prophet of Truth. So we pretty much have everything, uh, all the main characters from Halo 3, which is really exciting, and I cannot wait to get my hands on these. So here's an overview of at least most of the sets. Um, I believe those three fire teams are already out in the middle, um, but the Cyclops is in the back, I am not entirely sure, uh, although they do look pretty cool. Uh, but you're going to have to search elsewhere for pictures of those, because this is the only actual photo that I can find of those Cyclopses. And right here we have something called the Warzone Wasp Stripe. I believe it's from Halo 5, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it looks like it has two figures, an awesome looking hunter to the right, and a red Spartan to the left, which I'm not sure what kind of Spartan that is. Uh, but the figures do look pretty cool. And uh, the vehicle itself, I'm not sure what it looks like in the game, but uh, Mega Bloks looks like they did a good job designing it. Uh, I should say Mega Constructs, actually, but uh, it looks pretty cool in block form, but like I said, I'm unfamiliar what it looks like in the game. And the last few pictures we have uh, are of a brown drop pot right here, and then three figures right here, which look awesome. I'm really excited about Dare. We're finally getting her. Uh, comes with a helmet and her actual head, which looks great. Um, a brute named Decimus, which could be from Halo Wars 2, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And then a Wetwork Spartan from Halo 4, I believe, which looks very awesome. And then we have Spartan uh, Argus, which I'm unfamiliar with. I don't know who that is or what game he or she is from. And then we have Captain Cutter, again, unfamiliar, I'm sorry, um, and Spartan Madison, which, Madison, which I'm unfamiliar with again. But uh, So this this wave looks pretty cool in general. I'm really excited about the, the Halo 3 figures. I'm definitely going to be picking those up. But go ahead and leave your opinions in the comments of what you guys think of this wave. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to be getting everything, like I said. But overall, pretty cool. Um, thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of the day.